Today's reading from Spiritual Moments with the Great Hymns talks about the song Like a River Glorious, written by Francis Ridley Havergal, who lived from 1836 to 1878. We are most aware of inner peace, its presence or its lack in the midst of trial. I expect that was true for Francis Ridley Havergal, a prolific British hymn writer. Havergal created poetic texts for the glory of God, but she also saw, a, saw writing as her profession and livelihood. With great hopes of reaching a new market, she had signed a contract with an American publisher. But in January 1874, she received devastating news. I was expecting a letter from America enclosing the 35 pounds now due me, and possibly news that brewing was going on like steam and under the surface pressingly wanted. The letter has come, and instead of all this, my publisher has failed in the universal crash. He holds my written promise to publish only with him as the condition of his launching me, so this is not simply a little loss, but an end of all my American prospects of either cash, influence, or fame at any rate for a long time to come. Months later, another publishing reversal. A printer's fire destroyed the only copy of a Havergal manuscript. She assessed the loss as a winter's labor, of which she had not even a memorandum left, having sent everything to the printers. There may be no direct connection between one or both setbacks and the 1874 writing of Like a River Glorious is God's perfect peace. But I suggest the link. After all, every event or experience is food for a writer's imagination. Besides, aren't we most conscious of peace when we walk through chaos? Havergal's underlying peace like a river image is biblical, appearing several times in the prophecies of Isaiah. I find one reference particularly interesting as it is directly preceded by a description of God teaching his children the road to the riverbank. Here's the complete picture from Isaiah chapter 48, verses 17 and 18. I am the Lord your God, who teaches you what is best for you, who directs you in the way you should go. If only you had paid attention to my commands, your peace would have been like a river. Did Havergal find peace in the midst of her trials? Yes. Her account of the failed American publisher continues. Two months ago, this would have been a real trial to me, for I had built a good deal on my American prospects. Now, thy will be done is not a sigh, a personal pain, but only a song. And here's her take on the manuscript destroyed in the fire. It may be that God has more to teach me. He is giving me the opportunity over again of doing the work more patiently 
and of making it the willing service which I don't think it was before. Here is a woman well on her way to perfect peace. What the Hebrews called shalom, shalom, peace to the second degree. Isaiah chapter 26 verse 3 gives the promise, You, God, will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. The peace is discovered as Havergal found as one learns to be. Stayed upon Jehovah where hearts are fully blessed, finding as he promised perfect peace and rest. Like Havergal, you and I may have more lessons to learn before we find the perfect peace that steals a heart in the midst of chaos or loss. But today we can take one step choosing to stay our hearts and minds upon Jehovah, turn our eyes upon Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Lord, in the midst of trial, loss, and chaos, allow me to know the peace that transcends understanding. If that peace comes only as I learn to heed your lessons, then make me teachable. Help me learn to turn to you, the Prince of Peace, to discover what peace means.